What's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how I make my homemade chicken stock. It is delicious and it is easy. Let's do this. So one thing that we love to eat in our family are rotisserie chickens. Coming soon, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my own rotisserie chicken, but I hate that there's always so much waste after you're done with a rotisserie chicken. So this is the perfect way to make use of what's left when you're done eating the meat off the bones. So what you're gonna do is once you've picked your chicken clean, you're gonna kind of break the bones apart a little bit. Break it down into smaller chunks, and then we're gonna put it into a large saucepan and cook it over medium heat to kind of break the fats up, the juices up, and that's gonna kind of create the base of your flavor for your chicken stock. So basically what I'm doing is anywhere that I know that there's a joint, I'm pulling that apart. The ribs, they just break really easy, so I just break them apart. And just kind of try to break your chicken up into some smaller sections, especially where the meat's at. These chunks have a lot of meat at it. Kind of divvy those up into smaller sections if you can. Once you have your chicken all broken up, put it on the stove top over probably like medium high heat. I would let it brown for about 15 minutes if you can. The other thing that I love about this recipe is not only are you putting to use the chicken bones so you're having less waste that way, but I love that you can kind of use the waste of your vegetables as well. So the good thing about this chicken stock is you're going to put your onions in with the peel and the skin and all that stuff on it. Your garlic, you don't have to crush it or peel it or chop it up. You're going to just put it in. You don't have to crush your pepper. You don't have to cut your carrots up. The parts of the celery that you normally throw away, that's what makes your stock. So it's good because you're using a lot of things that normally would be wasted. So once your chicken's all browned up, we're gonna start getting our vegetables prepared. You don't have to do much to them. It is so simple and so easy and so fast. So your garlic cloves, once they're starting, these ones are starting to get to the point where they're gonna be a little bit on the not all the way good anymore side. So I just take a bunch, it's probably like five or six garlic cloves, and I just drop them right in. I put the skin in with them because the skin has a ton of flavor and a ton of nutrients in it. Same with the onions. I'm gonna do about one and a half onions, so I'm just gonna cut them in half. It's super simple, like I said, very easy. Next, I'm gonna add in my spices. I've got bay leaves, salt, whole peppercorns, and parsley flakes. You can also use fresh parsley if you have it. Now with carrots, if you're gonna use the big whole carrots, just use like the peels when you peel them and then the ends on either side, the stuff you normally throw away. I actually just had a bag of mini carrots or baby carrots that we were running low on. So I'm just gonna toss all of those in. It's probably about a cup of carrots. The thing I love about having celery in your chicken stock is the leafy part of celery actually has a ton of flavor to it. It adds some really good vitamins and minerals to the stock as well. So on this, I like to cut the butt off, and put the whole butt in, and then I'm gonna actually pull it apart and yank out these inside pieces that are full of the leaves and put the full strips inside. Now the last and final step to your pot is you're going to add your water in. Now the amount of water will fluctuate depending on how big of a pot you have and how much stock you're wanting to make. Now I'm doing this for the purpose of I'm gonna be making homemade chicken noodle soup tomorrow, so that's what I want my stock for. But I'm gonna do, probably in this pot, it'll probably fit about eight to 10 cups of water. So once you have everything inside of your pot, you're gonna stick this onto the stove and you're going to bring it to a boil and then let it simmer. Now you can let it simmer from anywhere to 45 minutes to two hours. I generally do about an hour, but you can go as long as two hours. So I let mine boil for about an hour and a half and it's now this rich, beautiful, like golden caramely color. That's when you know it's done. You can also taste test it to make sure that it's got enough flavor in it. 
Mine tastes really good. So now what we're gonna do is you're gonna take a slotted spoon and you're gonna pull out all of the big chunks and put them into a bowl. And then once you get all the big chunks out, you're gonna put the rest of it through a fine sieve and strain out all of the rest of the gunk out of it. So now that I've strained everything out of it, you're just left with the perfect chicken stock. What I like to do is I like to pour mine into mason jars. That way you can keep it in the refrigerator. I would say not to keep it in the fridge for longer than about a week. If you need to keep this longer than that, you can dilute it a little bit by adding an extra cup or so of water. You can put it into ice cube trays and then like pop it out into a Ziploc baggie and keep them stored in the freezer for a month or two. So I'm just gonna pour mine through a funnel into the mason jar. This is what you are left with, ladies and gentlemen. It is so good. I'm so excited to be able to put this into my homemade chicken noodle soup in the next couple of days. It is so delicious. This was 12 cups of water. That's what I started out with, and you end up with about six cups of chicken stock. So it does cook down a lot, just so you know, but it is perfect, it is amazing, it is delicious, and best of all, it is easy. So I hope that you guys try this out. Let me know how it tastes in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.